Hey everyone, Weston Summers, welcome back to my channel. We're in the loading room, but I got a great bench to do videos on. And today, we're going to be discussing in detail the best I can do the Bait Runner 8000D series reel by Shimano. And I am not a professional fisherman, nor do I claim to be, but after all the research and all the looks and bells and whistles of everything I looked at that I wanted in a reel, and from all the reviews, this is the reel I decided on, and I'm going to go through some of the features that it has. I, have not, I don't have any real time on this reel. These are the first videos I have with it out of the box. It still has the safety guards on it, but I'd like to tell you everything it has on it, and maybe it can help some of you when deciding what type of reel you want to get to put on your boat rods or surf rods. With that, I'm going to turn you around and put you back on the table, and we're going to use the instruction manual to go through this thing because this reel has so much to offer and so many improvements that I, don't, I want to do it justice and not forget anything. So forgive me if I make any mistakes, but with that, let's get ta started talking about this bad boy. <clears throat> All right. First and foremost, we ha can have another good look at the reel. There, I did post another video on just a view of the reel that shows what it is, but here's what it looks like so that we're all familiar with the reel. It seems like the camera's being a little clearer today. Here's one view from the top, and here's one view from the bottom. And with that, let's get rolling. Now, this reel has a ton to offer, so we're going to use our manual going through here. All these things you see listed here on the right, the aluminum cold forward spool, the fluid drive, easy maintenance, power roller, propulse and line management, Dyna Balance, Super Stopper 2, and Very Speed are all Shimano's copyrighted and trademarked things they add to their reels. Now, the, this manual is in multiple languages, so if you can't understand me in English, you can read the manual. But, here we go. Here we have the 4,000 bait runner on the bottom, and on the top we have the 8,000. 6,000, 8,000, 12,000, excuse me. And I'm sure you're not going to be able to read it because my camera's not that great, but I'll read them for you. And we're going to hold the reel here in front. We're going to set her down right here. So first off on the top, if I can point to everything, we have the bio grip, a graphite body and rotor construction, aluminum rotor on the bait runner 12,000, we have a positive click friction bail, a no fail bail, a cold forged aluminum spool, an oversized power roller, calibrated waterproof front drag knob, an SR one piece bail, a Dyna Balance rotor, a Super Stopper 2 anti reverse. We have a Septon, if I'm saying that correctly, CPD thermoplastic elast elastomer handle knob. We have a bait runner lever a maintenance port, a free spool tension dial, and the stopper knob, which is also the anti-reverse knob. Now, if you go through all of these to show where they are, the only thing I haven't shown up close is the maintenance port, which is located right here. This takes a simple flathead screwdriver. You unscrew this, you put your oil in there, and it keeps this buddy running for a long time, smooth and steady. Now, for one thing, what everybody wants to know is how it clicks or how it feels before we get any farther. Here's the bail. Here's the front drag. Here's a couple turns. Here's the bait runner lever. Here's the free line tension or the bait runner uh, drag tension. And here is the anti reverse. Alrighty. With that, let's go through the book some here. Now, this Bait Runner 8000 here on this page, we have this is a 4.8 to 1 gear ratio, so it reels in very fast. Uh, line capacity for normal mono uh, for 14 pound 
about 300 yards, 17 pound, 250 yards, and 20 pound, 190 yards. But um, I decided to put Power Pro on mine, and I, um, I've listed for 30 pound Power Pro, and it holds just over 300 yards. This is listed for 40, it holds 295, at 50 pounds it holds 290, and at 65 pounds it holds 180. It also has the line capacities for the rest of the reels. Now, the SR system here says R signifies maximized reliance and the concept of smooth, silent, strong features. Okay, this reel features anti-rust bearings. There are shielded ARB bearings that are stainless steel and have been through the ARB process, which makes them 10 times more corrosion resistant than standard stainless steel. This reel features a cold forged aluminum spool, and bait runner reels all now come with a cold forged aluminum spool. The bait runner system is located on this page. I showed you that just a moment ago. Here it is in multiple languages. We have a fluid drive, too, which features a large bore master gear developed after research into the optimal shape of gear teeth. The specialty shaped gear tooth surface, polished via a wrapping process, makes winding smooth and effortless, and I can attest to that. The master gear is now directly attached to the handle, and power is transmitted more efficiently with less vibration. Durability is also increased. The Dyna Balance is a traditional spinning reel, but the have been apparent you'll discover a lighter, smoother feel, even more retrieves, and less vibration getting in the way of your ability to sense light bites. And just to show how good the Dyna Balance really is, this gives an illustration of it moving left and right. Once again, if I give her a couple spins, I'm just going to let her push over one time. the reel is exceptionally smooth. I'm going to flip the anti-reverse off. You can see the weight of the handle will turn it down and I'm going to reel it backwards one time. It seems to go for ages. Okay, the front drag is a um, waterproof drag. That's all this one says on here. The Super Stopper Anti-Reverse has instant hook sets. It has a one-way roller inside of it, and it has a bearing that has been beefed up with extra stick rollers and race. Um, it says, under no circumstances should grease be applied to the roller bearings. You don't need to do that. A positive click friction bail. That's what we saw going back and forth. It actually has a one-piece bail on it. Another thing it features, if I turn this around, I got my drag too tight is if you turn this around, it has a line holder on it, or a line keeper clip, I guess you could call it that. The one-piece bail is mentioned again in this. It has a floating shaft. The handle is reversible. You can put it on the left side for right hand or for regular retrieve, or on the right side for right hand retrieve. And then, one of my favorite things, this just shows about the power roller, one of my favorite things is this, this section right here, excuse me, the winding shape. As it comes, your Shimano reel is made to wind the line on here perfectly smooth, meaning that if you were to lay something across it, the line would be in the sh flat shape directly even with the front and rear of the bale, of the bale, yeah, exactly. But it comes with these little washers right here. There should be four of them in a pack, and if you can read the instructions, there they are right there. It says for the winding shape. And dependent upon how you place them, you may change it to where the washers are in front of the drag star or below it, or the little gear tooth. I'm sorry, not a drag, a little gear tooth. And it will put more line at the front of the bail, or it will put more line at the rear of the bail. Now, this is this is very useful when you have um, like a you all have fluorocarbon line or it's very hard, you want the line at the front, that way as it unspools real fast, you get the max cast out of it. If it's a very soft and supple line, something like um, Power Pro or Spider Wire, which is two things I love, keeping it even is very easy. Now to show you where they go, you can see right here they go either in front or below the drag teeth, but my camera is not clear. You grip your drag handle, which is a sealed waterproof, and you turn it all the way clockwise, counterclockwise. It should take several turns to get her off. It's getting very loose now. And when you get her right here, you want to pull it off. This is what your drag knob looks like. Your drag system are in there. Here's the top of the bale. 
and if you pull it off, here's the bail right here and there are the teeth. There's the bottom of the bail with your clicker, and here are where your washers go. Here's the one that's in place always, and if you take this off, wiggling it and taking it off that little knob right there, you put these washers either in front or behind the teeth to change the shape. Just that little bit will make it wrap more in the front or more in the rear. Here's what it looks like without anything on the front. If you wanted to see the inside of the bale system or the big roller bearing, here I'm going to I'm going to turn the anti reverse back on so it quits moving. I'm going to stop it right here and I'm going to click the bale for you. Very positive bale click, and I'm going to make it engage one time by turning the handle. I'm going to turn it around here and. You can't even go half a rotation and it's in. Once again, there, and it's down. All right, if you want to see how the anti-reverse works, it won't go down. If you flip it, the weight of the handle will take it down. Very smooth. As you can tell, the reel is still balanced without the spool in. And with just a little bit gentle moving of my hand here, you can keep it going. Alright, well, I guess the last couple things that discussed in here is side plate removal, which if you want to do that, you can remove the spool and then you take these main screws off the side after you remove your handle. And then the last thing is maintenance. This Shimano reel is made out of uh, graphite, so it's very light actually. It's not that heavy of a reel, but it does have a maintenance port. And to access the maintenance port, you come right here. Take your flathead screwdriver a couple turns to the left and you put in the drops of Shimano lube or any type of real lube that you want. Then you give her a couple turns, it distributes the grease inside of it and everything's ready to go. Alright, with that I'm just going to show you the bait runner feature. I'm going to put this baby back together and I'll show you how I can, I'm just going to turn it with my hand, I don't have any line on here so it would be a lot clearer for you to see. Okay. The max drag on this reel for my research is around 35 to 36 pounds, which if you put 30 pound Power Pro on it, that makes perfect sense. You won't break it. All right, here it is maxed out. I'm flipping the anti-reverse back on. I'm going to turn just the main bale with my hand. You can hear the clicker is very positive. And that's maxed out. That takes about 30 pounds. If I wanted to bring it back down, I'd give her a couple turns, and the reel now has probably 15 pounds on it or less. Excellent clicker. All right, now we're going to move to the rear of the reel, if I don't get tongue-tied. This is your drag. Let's see, it goes one, so we can go one and a half. That's your max, so we're going to start out at the least. That's the least it goes. I'm going to flip the bait runner on, and now if we move to the front of the reel, I can just turn it with one hand, one finger actually. It just spins like this. If I were to engage this back down with manually, it takes two fingers or more to turn it. All right, if I turned this all the way up, this should max it out at two pounds. Turn it on, and there it is. So, maybe that is a good showing of the bait runner reel. Maybe you know what you're looking at now. This is the Shimano 8000, but they're all the same. And hopefully that helps you out in your decision making. If you have any questions that you think I can answer, feel free to hit me with them. And be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Look forward to all of them, and y'all have a great day, and good fishing. I can't wait to get this thing in the water. Weston Summers out.